Okay, now that we've got our accessory harness all wired up, we can go ahead and put in our dual battery tray. So we're using the Piranha dual battery tray here. I'm gonna just go ahead and firstly sit that into position. Okay, so we'll just take a brief look at the mounting position. So we're gonna utilize one of these holes here. We're gonna have a hole here, utilize one of the existing Mitsubishi holes there. Um, there's a stud down here, a little bracket is going to sit over that stud and we'll put a bolt, a nut on that. Um, and lastly, I just want to be a bit wary here, is because our bracket is actually touching the aircon line in this case, so we want to gently push that aircon line out the way. And we can bend them, but just be gently gentle with them. We don't want to crack anything here. Um, but we just want to make sure that our bracket isn't fouling the aircon unit that it's not going to rub and then we're going to utilize an 8 mil bolt threaded bolt through there so we'll go ahead and mount that tray into position okay so we're just going to pierce this sticker I'm going to start by just putting in these ones that are lining up with existing holes. So we'll mount that one there. And I'm just going to put them in finger tight for now. Put that nut on the stud that we saw. And our 8mm bolt will go down and find that hole, that Mitsubishi hole. So there's our three mounts, just finger tight. One, one down the bottom on the chassis rail and one on that stud. Next, we're gonna to wanna to get a bolt through here and that's gonna mean that we need to take out the little plastic shield under the wheel arch. So let's get in. Okay, so we're gonna start by undoing these plastic clips above the wheel arch. I'll give you a close up of them. I'm just gonna release it. Another one there those clips and we've got the same plastic clips here as in the engine bay so we're just going to pop those down pull the clip out there's a few broken ones on this car so we're going to take all these plastic clips out and that'll remove this guard There's our plastic clip, so we just need to pull that out, removes the clip, and to reinsert it, we can push it back in, push that tab home. So we'll just keep those clips aside, and we'll go ahead and remove all of them. So by removing these three plastic clips, we can get our hand in here and get the nut and bolt into that last mounting bracket of the battery tray, reaching in. So this is the last one on the outside mudguard. So I'm gonna put that through the hole, hold that. And with the nut and one of the large washers, I'm gonna reach in under the wheel arch and fit that. So there we go, I've got that nut on, got that washer on, which is quite a tricky part of the install. 
So you can see I've reached up in there and get my hand up to the back of that nut. Hold the nut from the inside. I've done that up finger tight. And now we can go ahead and fix up this nut from here. And then we can do up all of our nuts securing the battery tray. Okay, so let's go ahead and do up our bolts, starting with this one. We've got these two first, make sure this one grabs. There we go, it's grabbed. That one. So there are our two 10 mil, and we're gonna go, then we've got our eight mil bolts down here. So these are our two six mil bolts, 10 mil head. 13mm socket, we'll just go and do up these two last ones. So our battery tray is in position now. We've got the two 6mm bolts here. So three out of the four mounts are quite easy and they're just utilising Mitsubishi threaded holes or studs. We've got a stud here. We've got threads that we're utilising here and here. This one is the tricky one if you're going to go about installing this brace bracket as well. That's the one that we have to take off the inner guard in front of the mud guard, reach your hand up in there, hold the nut from inside that wall while we do it up. So you can do it one person, um, but it is a bit fiddly getting your arm up in there. So we just make sure that you're confident enough to do that before you take on this project. Um, but once we've got those four bolts in, our battery tray is securely mounted and not going anywhere. It's now time to fit the battery. So we're going to sit the battery into position now. So we're using a Delcor HDC24 battery sitting into position now. It doesn't matter which way you sit it. I like to put the positive out here, the negative closest to the chassis. Um, but that's that's our battery sitting into position in the tray. So the next part is we're going to get the hold down clamp on that holds it into position. So here's our hold down clamp that comes with the kit. That's going to hold our battery down. So we've got our studs here. We're going to take our wing nuts off the end. for laying steel parts around here because if that shorted across we would have a dead short there. So I've got to do the back one first because it's the hardest to get to and then you'll see this one are much clearer. and then I'll show you a better view of the front one. All right, so if you look down at the tray, I'll use this to point it out, but you can see right there, I've actually got it into position now. There's a hole in the side of the tray. That's for our hook to go in as our battery hold down clamp. So once we've got that hook in, it's then a matter of holding onto it. through our hole, first inserting our washer and then our wing nut. And now we can go ahead and do those wing nuts up tight to hold our battery into position. And there we go, that's a completed install of the dual battery tray in the Pajero.